Hallelujah to Jesus. I bless the name of the Lord for another wonderful day that he has given unto us. Today, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I hold your hands together and we run to the author of our salvation, the anchor of our life, our internal covenant. Today, in the name of the Lord Jesus, the name that is above every other name, the blood of Jesus that was shed upon the cross of Calvary, Today we have come to him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for shelter, for deliverance and for covering. Today I pray with you that let Leviticus chapter 5 and verse 9 speak for you. That any blood poured upon every evil altars against you and your family or shed where, wherever to destroy you by the voice of the blood of Jesus Christ. I pray that may the Lord God Almighty Turn every voice of darkness down, and may the Lord turn every voice of evil for your good. May every voice turn into your goodness, and may it turn into a blessing for you continually. That the blood of Jesus that speaketh better things than that of Abel, may that blood speak for you this very day. May the blood of Jesus speak for your family, speak for your children, speak for your day, speak for the works of your hands. May the blood of Jesus speak for you in a place where there is no voice that can, that your voice can be heard. In the law courts, in every judicial area of life, wherever you have no strength and have no authority, today I pray that may the voice of Jesus speak for you and speak for your entire household. I pray for you this very day. We pray together in Genesis chapter 9 and verse 5 that God has made his blood that your family will be precious and your life of your children shall never be spilled with the blood anymore. No powers of darkness shall spill your blood. You shall not die before your time, but yea, you will live and declare the goodness of the Lord. I pray that no infirmity, no diseases, no sicknesses, no accidents, no incidents of darkness shall cut off your life because the blood of Jesus will preserve you against all evil. Today we pray with you according to Exodus chapter 5 and verse 9 that every power and every person that is trying to put a burden upon you and upon your family let them come under the fire of the Holy Ghost any powers of darkness that want to place hard labor upon you and hardship upon you let that power be destroyed by the blood of Jesus may the blood of Jesus arise and speak for you and speak for your family in the name that is above every other name. Today I pray with you, according to the word of God in Deuteronomy chapter 5 and verse 9, that every iniquity from your father's house, may today may God have mercy upon your life. Any cares that have been imposed, issued and pronounced upon your family, any prison that your family have been put in, anything that have caged the glory of your family, Today I pray that let Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 9 speak for you and may the Lord set you free from every predicament of the enemy in the name of Jesus. May the Lord set you free from every untimely death. May the Lord set your marriage free. May the Lord set the work of your labor free. May the Lord set your destiny free. May the Lord set your children free. May the Lord set your desires and your aspiration free. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I speak the word of God into your life this day. In Joshua chapter 5 and verse 9, that says the Lord this day, all your reproach are rolled away and they are cut off from your life and from your family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No reproach shall come near your dwelling. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will never suffer any shame. For this day, according to the word of God in 1 Samuel chapter 5 verse 9, that may the hand of the Lord be upon your enemies and may God destroy them. Anyone that is hiding what belongs to you, may the hand of the Lord restore everything that the enemy has taken away from you. Today I pray that may the Lord restore good health unto you. May the Lord restore your marriage. May the Lord restore your children. May the Lord restore the fruit of your womb. May the Lord restore your favor. May the Lord restore your health. May the Lord restore everything that concerns you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. This is your day of victory. In 
Jesus name we have prayed amen this is apostle dr jerryotin from global harvest ministries worldwide remember you are a property of the holy ghost satan back off in jesus name